Hi everyone, Inclusive Model Designs here with part 6 of the TACOM 135th scale Leopard C2 tank. So lots of progress since the last video, as you can see. Other than weathering, um, like the dirt and mud and that kind of stuff, uh, it is done as far as the coloring goes. So you can see the different shades, um, and different uh, layering as, you, as I did before with the uh, last video. You've seen that I made those uh, those washes, those green wash, and then the um, the black wash, and then kind of mixed them, sprayed it with um, the semi gloss, and then added a little bit of uh, metallic coloring with those dry sets from Tamiya, and then finished it off with a, a flat uh, clear coat. And then using pigments, you know, I got the the burn marks for the machine guns, and of course the main gun, as you can see. Added some uh, kill stripes. Uh, the decal set came with four, but I just wanted three. And the rear view mirrors are on in the down position. And then the canvas cover, uh, I sprayed that with a dark yellow. And then again, used the Tamiya dry brush sets and just kind of mixed in, you know, the mud and the whichever colors. And then kind of wiped them clean and that gave a, a nice canvas look to it. And there's the Canadian Maple Leaf uh, decal from Echelon decals. This kit does come with Canadian ones, but uh, I find the Echelon ones are more to scale. Closer here. So you got the hatches uh, on the open position. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to have the driver hatch open or not. So for now, I just left it, uh, you know, an open hole for now. Still more work to, do, to be done, like the, the viewports here, do some coloring to make it look like there's windows. Uh, unlike the Tamiya tank uh, ones, uh, those are just uh, molded closed, or like solid I should say. Yeah. And then like I said, I wanted to have the door open, or the hatch I should say. For the side, uh, I just kit, kit bashed uh, on a small tank set for its wheel, shaved it right down, and that mimics the, um, um, I guess, the wheel closure mechanism, as you see here. That's there. So that's, I like having that done. All I had to do to do that was just cut the armor, uh, you know, the extra armor, um, where, it, where basically it would show that it was open. Um, you know, put, cut it, put it in the open position, take that, open position, done. So fairly simple to do. I used my own decals, as I said, for my numbering. I thought, uh, you know, I use the number 27. It's uh, the day of my birth, so I thought, hey, I'll throw it on there. Some more weathering to go right here for the, uh, for the vents, um, or for the exhausts. Um, Similar to like the, the cannon and stuff like that, some black soot, that kind of thing. But I don't want to do it yet because I still have to, to fondle this model quite a bit. And I don't want to put fingerprints and, you know, drag that all over the place. So that'll come yet. Same with the Pioneer tools, you know, the shovels, the axes and whatnot. That has to yet to go on. And then the tracks, of course. So the tracks are going to be a real treat. It's, um, you know piece by piece by piece by piece by piece. So that's going to take, you know, a lot of time. I do like the, the sheen it gives. And I, you know, let me know how you think. Um, but I think it makes uh, the tank look a little bit metallic, which is kind of the goal. And once I get, you know, all the weathering and stuff on, um, as far as dirt and mud goes, it should, uh, should jive pretty well. So there we go. So lots of progress thus far on it. Um, very happy so far. This will be a diorama model. Uh, so I'm going to be ordering some, um, you know, some grass terrain. Uh, I can't remember the name of the company, but uh, they make some really decent stuff. And then add some Canadian troops. Uh, I think Black Dog makes some Canadian troops. And then um, as well as, um, you know, some like Tim Hortons coffee cups, things like that. Um, that'll really help uh, Dave at uh, Duplicata is uh, really helping me out with uh, uh, making those things in uh, English and French because obviously in Canada we have English and French and uh, so I'm working with him and um, 
you know, it's going to be really great to see what we can we can come up with just even for this diorama, and then who knows uh, where he'll take that because of it, it is his designs. So uh, again, go check him out. Uh, the company name is Duplicata, and um, I'll leave a link in the description as well. But uh, it's coming along real nice. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.